Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. I have put myself on lockdown. I am not leaving the house. I'm not going to be ridiculous. I'll go play with Luna in the backyard. But I'm not leaving the house. I'm not going anywhere until I start getting these print files done. And But I think this will help because it's all about, you know, getting in the zone momentum. But then uh, someone just told me about this tweet. Uh, and I was like, oh, it's interesting. And then I saw who was tweeting it. And I said, oh, this is really interesting. So before I start... 499 graphic novel. I'm basically doing the final edits on this uh, right now. One thing I just learned When you're doing edits Don't always start at the beginning and go to the end because what happens is you know if you're doing a set Once you start getting to the last few pages you're, what you'll find is that Your energy is going to be at the beginning of each you know pass through so this time I'm going to go through backwards. I'm going to do the last page to the first page. Big Bang Comics is, um, uh, again, don't contact anyone for any reason ever. Uh, is uh, They've been, you know, on the side of, you know, the SJW movement in comics. Although, is it really a movement if everything just comes to a complete stop? <laughs> uh, but recently, you know, they've been posting stuff that's just basically like, uh, hey, so we've been cutting down our orders on trade paperbacks because people basically only want to buy Spider-Man, Batman, X-Men, you know, ca characters that they like getting into adventures. They didn't call it woke crap, but they basically danced around saying woke crap doesn't sell new characters. You know, the, the, the freaking uh, Squirrel Girl, America Chavez, they don't sell. What do people go to a comic book store besides Funko Pop and Magic the Gathering? If they're looking to buy comics, they want to buy Spider-Man, Captain America, Batman, obvious ones. And they said that's the only thing that sells. And then they put out this tweet, which is pretty devastating. Marvel has more covers for Heroes Reborn number one than we have orders for the entire thing. This is going to be interesting. And for those counting at home... This is the most ordered cover so far. So the most ordered cover is one based on the artist, not the story. So you see this absolutely fantastic piece by uh, Art Germ. Um, and this is really the perfect way to show a female character being muscular. That's just got the cap delts right there. Uh, fantastic stuff. So um, this is really devastating. One of the things I keep doing is I talk to people I know who work at stores because I am being told that King and Black is a huge hit. And I talk to retailers and they go, eh, boy, this hair actually looks like real hair. That's amazing. What we're finding is that it's the end times. Things are wrapping themselves up. And the evidence is so glaring that even someone who's been banging the drum for SJW Comics and standing for Marvel is just like, I can't sell this shit. Heroes Reborn was, back in the 1990s, the, uh, a lot of the people who left Marvel to go start Image, as the kind of, you know, the sales started to taper off for Image comic books, they got enticed to come back to Marvel. Uh, about half of them. And the initial sales were quite good. In fact, they stayed good for a whole year. Uh, Purchases made videos showing the sales of the Rob Liefeld produced Captain America comics, and they did good through the entire run. It was actually... Uh, quite impressive because even though that art was kind of silly and over the top it still had an audience they've been selling to a non-audience to a phantom audience to an anti-audience an anti-audience is people who never had any intention of ever buying books but they are going to actively try and harm creators and publishers for any anything that strikes their fancy and last year dc were sociopaths for leaving diamond and then they cheered Marvel doing the same thing a year later. Like, it, it doesn't matter. They just like to hurt people. They like hurting people almost as much as they like not buying the comics produced specifically for them. So we're seeing a, a wrapping up uh, of the direct markets. Uh, as I've said, the concept of unopening. When your comic book store, let's put that in quotes, comic book store, stays open, but you move all of your emphasis your emphasis off of comic books. You no longer rely on them 
in any way, shape, or form. There's one teeny tiny rack way in the back corner that's not even like half full. I'm not describing one store I've been to, I am describing many of them. Heroes Reborn uh, came back and they did like cool versions of Captain America, you know, super pumped up muscles. Uh, but this uh, version of Heroes Reborn is literally just like Combos Man. They're like, um, what if there's a combination of like Deathlock and Squirrel Girl? Shut the fuck up. You go away. Actually, technically you are going away. When you shrink to the size where you could disappear in 1970s shag carpet, you don't really exist anymore as an industry. So yeah, the a store that's been standing for SJW trends I now find that there's nothing that they can sell and there's nothing they really want. But these are some really well-drawn shoulders. I've just been staring at them the entire time. So anyway, thanks for watching. 499 graphic novel, rock and roll ninja graphic novel, and I will have more new comic reviews up all this week. Thanks, bye.